Hi everyone. Um, I hope that wherever you all are, you are safe and well. Um, we've been through, a, you know, some very trying times in the recent past and we're still going through it and words are not enough to, you know, to, to ease the pain of what everyone is feeling at this point. But you know what? What we can do is the best that we can do and um, all we can try to do is help in whichever way possible. Um, the impact of COVID across India right now is is crazy and um, all I can do and I think people who are not home right now, just a sense of helplessness. So, you know, we're trying to do the best that we can and um, that's been like a key driver for me and Nick for um, the Together for India fundraiser and I just wanted to take a moment to thank each and every one of you who donated, people who, um, you know, spread the word. You have helped so save so many lives. And I just wanted to give you a quick update about, you know, what the Together for India fundraiser has done. Um, we have, let me see, I'll give you guys exacts. Okay, so we have um, so far raised about $1 million, which is 7.5 crores. Um, Indian rupees and that'll help us procure about 500 oxygen concentrators which means providing more than 2,500 patients with oxygen supply every month. Um, we'll help provide manpower for about 10 vaccination centers which will help over 6,000 people get vaccinated. Um, it'll provide about 422 oxygen cylinders each of which has a capacity of 6,000 liters of oxygen each one of you who donated helped us achieve that. Give India is doing some incredible work on ground. And, um, you know, there's nothing that I can say which will, you know, which will make this um, as, which will make this any better. But I just wanted to appreciate everyone on ground who's actually doing the work, who is, you know, it's so amazing to see so many people come together to help. Uh, our community, help our country, and um, at a time which is unbelievable. And um, just speaking of that, I would like to uh, extend this fundraiser to $3 million now, because I think that's all we can do sitting outside of the country is donate and help. And we know that um, with Give India, all your money is going to the right place. So um, we're going to extend the fundraiser to $3 million and I hope that, you know, you feel generous and know that your money is going to the right place and we've already been able to achieve so much and um, we're going to be tangibly making a difference. So with that, I would like to invite someone very special to join me. He is going to help us achieve this target. Um, Vinod Khosla is a dear friend, but um, he's also the founder of uh, Khosla Ventures. And he has done so much donating right now um, during this current COVID crisis. And he's providing incredible aid. Um, since uh, April, he's been, um, you know, donating and working, has been coordinating efforts with um, Give India, you know, with critical medical equipment, with oxygen to several um, hospitals across India. And um, from this moment onwards, Vinod is going to be tripling all the donations that come in up to $1 million, tripling. So if you donate $100, Vinod is going to add $200 to your donation. So it'll become $300. And um, I want to be, I'm so grateful for Vinod to, um, you know, to be contributing the way he is. Um, that's what this time requires is all of us to come together and um, Indians around the world and people who care for the country and for care for humanity to come together and help. That's the best we can do. I'm going to try this. This never really works for me. But I'm going to try and get Vinod live. <laughs> so give me a second. Not the best at this, but we shall attempt it. I've sent to give India and... Um, Hopefully we'll be able to go live together. Um, Lakan Dev, you're asking how you can donate. Um, there's a link in my bio. 
you can absolutely go to the link in my bio. Hi, Vinod, how are you? Uh, hi, Priyanka. I'm doing great uh, despite uh, this sad time. It's an insane time, but yes. it's so good to see you. And I just cannot believe how you have come through for the country and how much you're doing um, to provide much needed aid. Um, so thank you, first of all, for, for doing that, working with Give India and, and, and providing so much is, um, you know, that's all we can do sitting away from the country and just reading about uh, everything and, you know, feeling like India is currently in like a reactive mode and what can we do um, to help India tackle this in this second wave. So what I wanted to really ask you is with your network and Intel, what do you think, where, what do you think needs to happen for us to move into like a, a responsive state instead of a reactive state like we are in the country right now? How much help is needed? Um, you've obviously been working at this since April. So I would love to know from you and everyone who's watching um, what you've heard. Well, like a lot of your listeners, uh, first I want to say, I was busy working, reading the stories when my family really said, hey, you got to do something. So it was the family, the, my wife and kids who said, hey, we really need to get involved. And I, yeah. I'd be the same message to all your audience. It's okay to hear about the stories and feel bad, but you can do something. And that's yeah. what caused me to step up and say, How, uh, what can we do? Um, the scale of the problem that you're talking about is so large. Uh, it's hard to imagine how you address enough people. If thousands of people are dying every day, and my bet is the deaths are really underreported just because Absolutely. it's hard to keep up with all the information. Um, so, uh, you know, the first things are obvious, and this uh, addresses this fundraiser in a big way. Every single day that oxygen supplies are delayed, somebody dies. You know, one hospital had a one day delay and eight people died in that hospital. And government bodies are trying to do as much as they can. When I talked to the chief minister, he said, we have the money, but it takes weeks to go through a tender process. So we need help now. And so this is sort of my appeal to your whole audience. Like a day's delay means somebody dies. So the sooner and the more immediately you can act makes a huge difference. And uh, all, that's all we can really do in this situation right now, staying, you know, being away from the country and <clears throat> being able to help the way we can. So the appeal to everyone watching is, you know, Vinod has very kindly come through and said that he's going to double, triple actually your donations up to a million. So please donate and do it now. That's that's what we can do. There is no point in just reading about it and wondering what you can do. You can make a difference. Um, there is just even whatever little you can do is um, is good enough at this point, right? Yeah. Every, every, every little bit helps because it helps one more person at the other end. That's the right way to think about it. It's not this generic thing. Yeah. If one of your audience contributes, it helps a person, a real live person at the other end. And you can literally visualize that picture you're seeing as you are helping that person. Uh, that's how I like to think about it because it makes it much more real. Absolutely. Uh, and, 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 and frankly, uh, also the timeliness of it makes a huge difference because that's, people are running out of oxygen. It's timely. It has to be done right now. Um, I wanted to ask you another question. Like, once we're done combating this initial peak in India, um, what are the organizations that obviously with Give India and everyone that you're working with, that what can we do to be better prepared for this third wave? Like, what are the experts predicting? You know, this is not going away anytime soon. So, Well, people are expecting a repeat of the second wave, potentially larger, but the honest fact is, it's so uncertain. You know, the math models yeah. they're using to predict what may happen are so uncertain because the virus is evolving. So readiness is absolutely key. Obviously, if you're in India, you want to be as isolated as possible and prevent uh, uh, spread of the disease, not get together in large gatherings, mask up, all the obvious things. 
if you're outside, the main thing you can do is help uh, and uh, help financially, especially the organizations. And this is where Give India is a very good organization. They have feet on the ground. Because yeah. even if you give money, somebody has to buy a concentrators from somebody China. Somebody has to make the, it happen. Yes. Yeah. And then distribute it. And among the so many requests an organization like Give India has, both urban and rural, you have to sort of say, who gets what? It's a very hard decision to make because it's a life and death decision. I can't even fathom trying to say you get concentrators and you don't. <laughs> Excuse me. That's the really hard part. People can feel for it and help on their piece of it. If we break it down into all provide financial resources, and then there's these organizations on the ground that can actually help. And Give India is not only giving to Delhi and to Bangalore and other places. And by the way, over 20,000 concentrators Give India has provided or ordered 14,000 cylinders, 150 bad ICUs near Bangalore. Uh, the, the list goes on and on. Ola Cab in uh, India and Give India are providing free delivery of oxygen concentrators to those people who need it at home. Oil Rooms is making isolation wards available or isolation rooms available. So a lot of people pitching in but everybody needs to do the one piece they can do and not think of it as, in, as a problem too large to make a difference in. Uh, in fact, so, it is making a difference. So you think, just to, for people to understand, and I know you and I have been saying this a lot on our in, individual level, but people who are not in India, what can we do? I think contributing to Give India and to other organizations is- Contributing is, financially is- Is the is most key. important thing we can yeah. do. And more important, doing it immediately. Yeah. Even the difference between writing a check and wiring money is, is, yeah. is days that saves lives. It's, it's timely. It's, it's right now. It's urgent. And yeah. we just need to remember that, you know, this is not going anywhere. And everyone in India is affected by it. I know every single person i know is affected by covid right now in india and it's just it's terrible it's scary but thank you vinod thank you for being the indian that um you know we know that we are as a community thank you for coming through um thank you for doing the best that you can give india thank you guys for doing all the work that you are i know for sure that the money I have donated or, you know, the money that you have donated is going into the right hands. So please know that if you're making a donation, this is tangibly going to be helping people with vaccination support, with oxygen cylinders, with concentrators. And that's what India needs right now. So thank you so much, Vinod, for being amazing. Well, it's, it's, it's great to help in any way we can. I do want to say one last thing. You mentioned this. Um, Vetting organizations, like people often think, I don't know where the money will go. I can yeah. tell you, we work with Give India. I started working with them when the pandemic first broke a year ago. And, uh, uh, and we vetted them out. It's a very good organization. It's a very reliable organization. And so, uh, uh, so people should have confidence in giving to Give India that the money will be very useful and immediately used to help somebody. Thanks Absolutely. very much. And thank you. I know that besides this contribution, you you know contributed to so many other requirements. And I just wanted to say a really heartfelt thank you so much. Pinal. Sure. Thanks, Priyanka. And thanks for everything you're doing. Of course. You mm -hmm. know, we all have to do our best. I'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Um, I just want to tell everyone else that with a daily count of about 400,000 cases in India, even the best served cities like Delhi, Mumbai, Bangalore are, you know, they're just overflowing and we have to do the best that we can. And thank you everyone for um, donating. Please continue to donate. Um, all we have to do is the best we can to help our friends and family back home. So thank you, Vinod, and thank you everybody who watched. Please Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.